welcome back to my channel i first want to talk a little bit about my new hair i just got it cut and i am so excited about it i feel like i've been needing a good haircut for months it's a little bit shorter it feels so fresh it's going to pop you guys up on my tripod so it's a little steadier but i am very happy with my new hair we took about like that much off of my hair the ends were pretty dry i did film a few parts of it so i will pop in those clips here but yeah we took about like five six centimeters off so all of the like dead ends the dry bits and then we freshened up the layers i'll actually just let you guys watch these clips and then we'll come back and chat a little bit more about specifics if you guys like this kind of hairstyle is cut and it's a good haircut obviously I mean in that case you can see really the shape even if I brush the hair to the front here if you want to control it you see that it's really symmetrical and there's no cut there's no hard line it's all like that it's you have to imagine a haircut always as a four dimensional case this is four dimensional it's if you put all the hair out like this if you pull your hair this hair and this hair and this hair and all your hair is out it should be rounded there should never be a cut like this it should be always round mm. then rounded is then more it can move so if I pull all the hair up and let them literally look up like and straight up from the hair from your head then this is the way how it should be rounded mm. then you have a three-dimensional soft haircut for those who might be new to my channel mo is the one who cuts my hair and he also colors my hair but we didn't do anything to the color this time since i'm really happy with it since last time but a lot of you guys actually asked me about the kind of haircut that i have and i would say i have kept the same kind of haircut over the last few years just with like little modifications here and there but in general i love how versatile it is it grows out really nicely i feel like it looks nice both curled and straight and you can also wear in different partings although I do really like a side or a middle parting but this does also work really well with side partings either way so I did ask Mo for a few tips and kind of like recommendations on what you could tell your hairdresser if you do like a haircut like this so starting with the front part of my hair so the shortest bit of my hair is right underneath my jawline and then it kind of goes into 
a line like um like an angled line from this part to the bottom and you could see that when he was cutting my hair he really makes it like an angled line from the middle of my chin down to this part and that gives really beautiful soft layers around the face which look really nice when you curl your hair or even when you have it straight it just gives that nice kind of like soft frame to the face and it's not too heavy you know all in the front and also i do have a back layer in my hair and it's about like a i would say seven centimeter um length of a layer and he actually does a really cool technique where he brings all of the hair forward and then cuts in the layer so that it's a really soft smooth transition of the hair he said that that's not something that all hairdressers do but he swears by this technique and he says that it really makes a big difference but if i take some hair at the back of my head it is this long and then taking a piece from the bottom so you guys can see the difference in length okay there you guys can see like the step between but it's all a smooth layer between all of these hairs so hopefully that describes my haircut a little bit better for those who were curious about it and maybe want to try something similar but yeah it feels really nice and like fresh i love when the ends are freshly cut and there's no like split ends it just feels really like fresh and vibrant and like new i don't know about you guys but whenever i cut my hair i feel like it's like letting energy go i feel like hair holds a lot of energy and when you cut it you just feel like this fresh and I am really into that especially now for fall you guys know I love this season and it does feel like a little mini new year I made a whole video on this I will have that link down below but it just feels like very fitting and like a really nice refresh this time of year so I love it on the topic of hair I'm actually doing a few different things in my hair care routine I used to strive to wash my hair as little as possible so I would aim to wash my hair like once or twice a week that was like for me what I thought was really good but for my kind of hair I actually benefit better from washing it two to three times per week so obviously it's not good to wash it too much because that can really dry the hair out and you have these beautiful natural oils that really moisturize your scalp and if you remove those too often that can also not be beneficial for the hair but I found that my kind of sweet spot is two to three times per week so going like two to three days between hair washes and that's it I did find that I started to get a lot of buildup and like itchiness in my scalp if I went longer and my scalp would just not feel as healthy and that kind of defeats the purpose so I started increasing the amount of times that I'm washing my hair and I feel like it's a lot healthier so that's a little update and I'm also starting to use different like scalp treatments and massage techniques on my scalp just to stimulate the blood flow I also just find it so relaxing and quite therapeutic to give myself a little head massage with some oils plus it's of course really good for general hair growth and vitality of the hair and when it comes to the color maintenance I'm still using a purple shampoo and conditioner the ones that I've been using for over a year now and would highly recommend are from function of beauty you guys know I love this brand I've talked about it so many times before and they are kindly working with me again on this video what I really love about these is that you can fully customize them to your specific hair type and hair goals as I like to color and highlight my hair I love to use a purple shampoo to reduce the brassiness and because my hair is pretty dark like pretty brown whenever I use bleach the undertone is very orange and very warm so we always use a purple pigment in the color and in the bleach and then I have to maintain that by using a purple shampoo and mo definitely make sure that I'm using this and I think that's why I'm able to go so long between my hair colors I only do it like once to twice per year but if you don't color your hair function of beauty also have regular shampoos and conditioners as well so some of my hair goals are to strengthen deep condition anti-frizz volumize and again to reduce brassiness you can also customize the scent i love the lavender and eucalyptus plus i love that they're formulated with clean ingredients so they are paraben free sulfate free free of toxins gmos they're also cruelty free and vegan if you guys want to try these out as well you can get your first custom formula for under 30 dollars with free shipping there will be a link down below you click on that and that will 
take you to the website, you fill out their little quiz and the offer will be applied. Another thing that's pretty exciting are our new chairs. We also have a new sideboard under our TV. I mentioned that in my latest video, so I want to give you guys a little updated living room tour. Also, we're currently having some new lights installed in our bedroom and in the wardrobe, so I'll share that with you guys as well. Okay, so this is what our living room currently looks like and I'm so happy with it. I feel like this brown wood just really makes it look a lot more homey and cozy and gives this beautiful like richness to the space. So these two chairs are new. I kind of unboxed those in my last vlog and these are from West Wing. I believe they're available throughout most of Europe so I will have them linked for you guys down below. They are so pretty though. The wood again makes it look quite like homey and cozy and gives it this nice like antique kind of style but I still feel like there's something quite modern to them as well in terms of like the lines. The back of them is also very pretty as well so if you put these like in the center of the living room and these are kind of like facing inwards i feel like the back would still be a beautiful statement um, on its own and then i just draped this beautiful beige um, blanket on top we've had this for so many years it's from zara home and then i put a little pillow on this one this is actually one that we used to have in our bedroom and i'm thinking of putting it here or getting a second one it's in this nice linen fabric this is also from zara home and then also speaking of pillows these big ones over here these were also originally on our bed but I've put them out here now to just see like a kind of a different look and actually really like them here as well so I might keep them here and then get a second set for the bed again but these are also from Zara Home and they're again in this nice kind of like soft linen fabric really nice and of course these are like pillowcases because they were in our bed so they are easy to wash you know if you get like food or stains or anything like that it should be pretty easy to wash so that's this little update and then of course we've got the new sideboard this is pretty similar to the one that we had before in terms of the design and the shape but of course this is now in this beautiful rich wood and i love the storage of this as well here we've got some blankets we've got this really nice big cozy one here that fits uh, both Mo and I. <laughs> and then we've got a smaller one down there. This is my little meditation pillow. And then here we've got some little games, like board games. And then here we've got like other little things. You guys probably saw I recently cleaned out the other one that we had. So it's not too cluttered in there, which is great. But yeah, this is the update and I love it. Looks so nice and fresh and inviting. It is the next day and I just worked out. I'm about to jump into the shower and wash my hair. I mentioned to you guys yesterday that I've been doing these little head massages and I've actually ordered some specific scalp treatment, kind of like serums for uh, my hair, but they haven't arrived yet. So I'm just using some skincare products that I like to use on my face. So if you think about it, like our scalp is kind of an extension of the skin on our face. I know I look very crazy right now, but this is just um, what I do. A little bit more here. And this is a peptide serum that I'm currently applying. So I just do this a little bit before I get into the shower and I just kind of let it sit for a few minutes. I just worked out so I'm nice and like sweaty <laughs> and um, definitely in need of a shower, but I'm just gonna put this into my scalp a little and a little bit in the back as well. But I did order some scalp specific treatments that are hopefully going to come very soon. I'm really excited to kind of get into that product category because I've never really um, used like specific scalp treatments before. But I do think it's nice that we, you know, treat our scalp skin as we do our face skin. And I just love how a scalp massage feels like that's always one of my favorite parts of getting a massage. The scalp and the feet is like my favorite thing and the hands too. So I'm just going to let this sit for a little bit as I do some things around the apartment and then I'm going to wash my hair. And I'll see you guys a little bit later. I was just telling you guys about the new um, like little treatments and things that I had ordered. And look what just arrived, the treatments. So I thought I would do a little unboxing and share with you guys what I got. 
I ordered this from Cult Beauty. The first thing in here I actually know very well it is my wet brush. This is literally the best hairbrush ever, 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 ever. It is so nice and gentle on the hair and I've been using this for so many years. There's definitely something very special and kind of magical when it comes to this brush. If you've tried it, you probably know what I mean. I know a lot of moms also use this on their kids and I do actually like to wash my brushes. That's something else that I do for my hair health. Hair brushes can accumulate a lot of oils and product, hairspray and things like that. So once in a while, like probably once every two weeks, I will take a little soft. Um, it's actually an old uh, face brush and I will put some shampoo or body wash on that and I will take that in circular motions along the inside of the brush to really just remove any buildup so that when I'm brushing my clean hair I have a clean hair brush to brush it with you know okay this is one of the first um, serums I got for my hair it's from the ordinary it's called the multi-peptide serum for hair density it says it's a concentrated serum for hair that looks thicker denser full and healthier and the ordinary is actually a skincare line and they had this serum and I thought it was pretty cool so I want to give this a try it actually says that this is not a wash off treatment so you should leave it on your scalp so maybe it's something that you could put on your hair like if you know you're going to be washing your hair the next morning you could apply this the night before so you can let it like penetrate and do its work as you're sleeping and have that time for it to work so i'm going to give this a try and i will report back and tell you guys how i like it but i did read a lot of good reviews on this too so i'm very excited to try that out okay next kind of a similar concept is from sunday riley this is called their clean rinse clarifying sculpt serum this is actually got ahas and bha inside so it's really supposed to be like a very clarifying and provide like a nice gentle exfoliation on the scalp and exfoliation you guys probably know I'm obsessed with exfoliation not that I do it aggressively or anything like that I think that it's important to balance it you know I swear by our mask from nourish 3 which is the clarify and brighten face mask that's a really nice beautiful treatment for the skin that you use once a week and then I love to do my hydrafacials once a month and I think you can apply the same concept for the skin on your scalp as well so this is pretty cool okay and then and another kind of similar sculpt treatment that I got but this is actually a massaging tool it's from Brio Gio it's called the Skype Revival Stimulating Therapy Massager I think you use this in the shower with your shampoo so it looks like that and it has these little gummy kind of spikes but they're not like they're bendy so they're not um, like that sharp but they do provide like a nice stimulation and exfoliation as well for your scalp so I'm really excited to try this and I think this will just feel really amazing on your head as well like a nice little massage and I guess you could even like pull it through your wet hair oh even that feels good so nice and then what else do we have I got this huge refill for my hand soap from Way. I actually showed this to you guys in a recent uh, video where I also did like a similar kind of beauty unboxing and I shared that I got the Way hand soap and hand cream and we loved it so much that it's almost finished. So I got this big refill now. This is like almost one liter <laughs> of soap. So I'm going to refill this in our bottles and this smells really nice and there's a beautiful exfoliation in the hand soap as well that I didn't know about before I got it. Kind of like the Aesop one, so that was a really nice pleasant surprise. And kind of a little random thing that I got to is this Four Sigmatic Powdered Cacao with Reishi Extract. This is actually a kind of like a hot chocolate drink that is really nice for the evenings. Sometimes I'm really in the mood for a nice hot chocolate. It's kind of like a warm warming tea meets a little sweet dessert kind of thing this has reishi inside which is actually a mushroom that helps you to relax but it doesn't taste like mushroom or anything like that i've had samples of these before that i've actually gotten with my cold beauty order so you just mix one of these packets with some hot water in a cup and you have this really nice hot chocolate with the benefits of the calming mushrooms hello guys it is the next day i am actually sitting in the chair that was previously in our living room for now we've put it here in our bedroom and this is like an empty spot in our bedroom in one of the corners so yeah we've put it in here for now and it's kind of like a cute little sitting spot it would be nice to get a little 
plenty actually this is my bedside table so i've got like my drink my phone but it would be nice to have something little here behind just to make it like a little cozier but anyway that is not what this is about but i just wanted to tell you guys where i am i was going to wrap up this video and i've been thinking about wanting to just talk to you guys about something and i feel like it's something that's been going on for a lot of people just like collectively and i have definitely been feeling it i'm so grateful for my life and the people in my life our home my health the health of my family and my friends i definitely don't take any of that for granted but i do feel like the last month or even like two months have been really really challenging and that's not to say that i haven't felt good and that i haven't been happy because i have been but i do feel that there have been more challenges outside like not necessarily in my life directly like with me and my relationship to myself but more like exterior things and of course naturally that affects you as well even though you yourself might not be going through challenging things with yourself it's of course like if people you love or you have relationships or friendships it can really weigh a lot on you as well but that's why i also am so passionate about self-care and doing good things for yourself treating yourself well caring for yourself having good self-talk having good routines and rituals that really help to strengthen you and to bring out the best in you you know to fill up your own cup so that you can deal with all the things that life is throwing at you sometimes it literally feels like throwing sometimes and that's why i'm so passionate about talking about things like this and sharing what makes me feel good things that i'm doing spending time in nature like my Food that I love to cook it's things that just make me feel good and that build me up and I think that's so important that we don't forget about ourselves and of course with my vlogs it's very much about like our relationship like you and me I really value your guys's time and I genuinely love filming I genuinely am so happy when I'm talking to you when I'm vlogging and I want to share the good things with you guys you know the things that are making me feel good that are keeping my head right but I don't want you guys to ever think that my life is perfect that I don't have my down days, that I don't cry. I'm a big crier. <laughs> Not that I want to cry in front of people. I actually don't like that at all. I'm very much like, I need to go into my hole <laughs> and just like be by myself and get all my tears out. And it is a good way to release that emotion and that built up like, stuff inside so that it's not like getting stuck within you and manifesting in other ways i think that's really important but anyway my point is just that i definitely have my down days it's just not about things that i'm able to talk to you guys about or share online yeah i just wanted to have this little talk with you guys i feel like it feels important for me to share that in case you guys are going through something similar i feel you and i definitely go through things like that as well but yeah we can continue the discussion down below in the comments i am not going to wrap up this video i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching make sure to check the description box down below as always for links things that i mentioned any products recipes everything will be down below thank you so much for watching i hope that you're all having a beautiful day and i will see you in my next one Bye guys.